Hey there, Libra. Welcome. This is a bonus love reading for December 2023. Let's see what's happening for you. Okay, starting out with, ooh, the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so maybe you're trying to balance something out in your life here, trying to balance something out with somebody. What else we get? What's crossing you? This could be a time of give and take, too. Ten of Pentacles. Ooh. Someone, it feels like someone might want to come towards you and have a even connection here, an even um, give and take, a, you know, a balanced connection, commitment here. Ten of Pentacles. Love it. Okay. Let's see what else we have here. So we have the higher, oh, Yes. I like this. So this is, looks good. Okay. So you have the Six of Pentacles. So it's, uh, even back and forth, even exchange, e give and take. That's nice. Then you have the Ten of Pentacles, commitment. Now you have the higher fat. That is confirmation, commitment coming in here. Could be a Taurus too. Okay. Let's see. Let's get a little peek into the past. Let's see. Okay, so we have the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or this is your energy. This is um, you find someone finding you very desirable. We have here Owl. So we have here maybe communication, um, information, maybe something at night too. It could have been, um, you could be dealing with a fire sign from the past or this is like, whoa, just feels very, very attractive energy. Let me get the words on this Queen of Wands. Message. Keeps the money. Expect. Okay, now this is past energy. So someone maybe was told to keep the money or someone expected to keep the money. We have here. Here's a tornado on money. So maybe something happened really quickly with money. Something came in and came out. Maybe that's what happened. Came in real quick and left. I don't know. Something with the tornado. Okay, let's see here. What do we have coming in here? Here. Okay, the four of swords. There's like... Okay, now this is why you're supposed to be together or why you're going to come together to heal situation. Four of swords. There could be a healing taking place. Might be something to do with the time, too. Because look at this card. It's good at the time. Looks healing. Okay. So, future. So what's going on in the future? We have the Eight of Cups. Someone might be walking away from something. Now, this could be you walking away from something or someone. This could be someone else walking away from something to come towards you. Or maybe this person's walking away from you. So, that's what's in the future. Okay. Or influences of future too. Let's see here now. How do you actually see things? Eight of Pentacles. Work. There's a lot of work to this situation. Or maybe you're thinking, do you want to put the work in? Or maybe this is someone from your work. Okay, how about your person? Same. Nine of Wands. Okay, they might be... With the Nine of Wands, they could be trying to protect something here or protect you or protect this connection. Or it's also a Nine of Wands. Someone's been through a lot. Okay, so now, this is how your energy flows together. Let's see about that. Four of Wands. Ooh, so it feels like you guys are headed for commitment. Or a strong possibility for that. Okay, now let's see. Um possible outcome when somebody flipped. Let me see what this is. This is, um, ooh, the tower. So the tower flipped. Sudden change, something happening that you're not expecting. Very Scorpio energy with the tower. Also something happening here. And we have here, we have the Knight of Cups. Maybe someone coming towards you with their cup of love. Scorpio Cancer Pisces energy. And we have the Knight of Wands too. Ooh. Knight of Cups and Knight of Wands. So you might have, it might be a surprise, you might have two people coming towards you. What you don't see coming is, oh, flip this back over. The Queen of Pentacles, but the Queen of Pentacles was flipped. So maybe this Queen of Pentacles isn't hiding. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. It could be also your 
energy coming into a time of more financial security or focusing on your financial security. Now for this um, Knight of Cups we have here. Oh, we have a horse. Someone coming towards you very quickly here like the chariot. And then for this Knight of Wands we have two on a bicycle. Okay, so it could be someone want to take you on a trip, go go somewhere with you, or they might be coming on a bike. Okay, let's start clarifying. Oh, wait, let me do the words. It's okay for... What do we have here for the Knight of Cups? Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy, and then for the Knight of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So let's see what we have. Cheater. Another tower. Wow, some kind of surprise. Sincere. Eventually. Okay, so maybe if this Knight of Cups was a cheater, um, they might be coming back and they might be surprised you how they're sincere. They they want this commitment. Aries Scorpio energy with Tower. Let's see about this Knight of Wands here. So we have here never third party options. Ooh. So maybe someone's saying they never had third-party options. They might be coming. I don't know. Is this two people that you're doing it with before? Are coming both coming back at the same time? Why do I feel like they're friends? I almost feel like you had two people that were friends. And they both know the other one's returning. So they're coming at the same time. It's almost like they're going to be fighting to get to you. <laughs> That's not going to be for everyone. But I feel that for someone. Okay, and we have here the Queen of Pentacles. Let me get something on that. We have here, ooh, we have the heart with the infinity symbol. Someone wants forever with you. Either that's your energy or is, or is someone coming towards you. We have here, fast thoughts, but immature. Okay, someone might be coming in fast. They might have these thoughts, but they also might be immature. Okay, let's see about this six of pentacles. Someone definitely wants a commitment with you here. So, ooh, the Ace of Swords. Someone's coming to speak their truth. Also might be removing something here. Cutting out what does not belong. Okay, now we have the Ten of Pentacles. That's commitment. That's also could be a lot of money coming in, too. We have the King of Cups. Ooh. Wow. Oh, this puts a little no, spin on it. So when, this could be the same energy of one of these, but it could be... Someone has a lot of love here with the King of Cups. A lot of emotions, a lot of love. Could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Could be anyone. But this person's coming in to speak their truth, probably, about how much they care for you. Oh, we get... Ooh. I don't know what to make out of this one. Here's a hammer with two heads. You might be in... You might be thinking about two different people. Or there might be... Yeah, two heads to this. Um, there's some kind, something about two. Making a decision or something about two. I would say that there's two different minds, two different heads. Okay. Let me get the words on this King of Cups. Healing. Likely. Truth. Okay. Ace of Swords. Someone's coming in to speak their truth to try to heal a situation. So you could be dealing with King of Cups. You could be dealing with any sign. But this person has a lot of love for you. Now the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here? Wheel of Fortune. Oh, boy. This person, this King of Cups, whether they're a, a, a water sign or whatever sign they are, they really feel like you guys are meant to be together. And I don't think they're going to let go easily here. Now, what about this Queen of Wands in the past energy? Let's see. We have Ten of Wands. So in the past or past life, this Queen of Wands, a lot of burdens here. It could have been... About money, it could have been... Well, some Ten of Wands is putting down the burden. So maybe someone in the past was fighting to put down the burdens here. What about this Four of Swords? We have the Knight of Swords. Okay. Feels like someone's coming towards you determined to heal a situation. Okay. I actually feel like it's the same energy. But look, we have a... First, now the Knight of Swords moves very quickly, but we have a snail. Now, a snail moves slowly. So they, it feels like they want to come in quickly, but they know they have to probably take... They can't rush it. 
is, is what I'm feeling here. They know they cannot rush it. They got to make sure they do it right. Okay, let's see about this Knight of Swords. We have here spying past obsess. Oh, this person is obsessed with you. They're spying on you. And they have been from the past, too. Maybe they're always spying on you. This person definitely obsessed with you, though. Okay, so now, what's this about the Eight of Cups walking away? Who's walking away? What's going on here? Three of Pentacles walking away maybe from a team, walking away from a partnership. They could be walking away from a job. Let's see about the Eight of Pentacles here. This is your energy with the Eight of Pentacles to work on something here. We have an Eight of Pentacles. You believe that? You are definitely focusing on your work or you really want to work on this. Take it how it resonates with you. Some of you are just going to say, hey, I'm just focused on my work at this time. I need to focus on my work. It's important. Or someone else is saying, hey, we need to work on this. I want to work on this. Now here for them, we have Nine of Wands. Okay. Page of Pentacles. Okay, so they're going to they're gonna, um, reach out to you, maybe give you a gift. Or make an offer here. Snowflake, one of a kind, unique. Okay, let's see what this. We have here. Sincere. Talk. Okay, this person's coming in to talk about their feelings. I think they've been doing a lot of thinking. And they really want to protect this connection. Okay, so your mutual feelings here are. That's a four of wands. This commitment. We have the Queen of Swords. Ooh, Queen of Swords wants the truth. So your feelings are that you guys need to have a discussion. I think you both feel the same thing. Speak the truth. Discussion. And we have here, ooh, we have a hammer. So here's a note. Something about getting to the point. Someone could actually maybe use a hammer in their field. Or something about a hammer. Maybe someone used a hammer recently. Okay, let's see. We have committed. Present before okay I this person well this is your mutual energy or this is um, this could be how your your energy flows together you guys feels like maybe you, you were committed before and you're in the past and you're, and you're gonna be committed again that this is the feeling here okay let's see about this tower why is a tower here? Page of Cups. Surprise when this offer comes in. They even got the fish jumping out of the cup. So there's going to be a surprise offer coming in. You're not going to expect this. Um, let me get a charm on the page. Okay. We have here scissors. Someone might be cutting something out. And these are scissors that look like for cutting. So this, I'm for cutting hair. So it could be a barber, a hairdresser, um, a hair cutter. Someone might be cutting something out. Or they might use that in their profession. Let's see. What do we have here? Important. Past life. Family. After. So you might find out something later that you guys had a past life together. Or maybe you were in the same family. Or you were family. Let's see about this um, Knight of Cups. Ooh, the Six of Cups. Yeah, look at this. This definitely could be past life. So this is um, someone coming back around here. Or a lot of memories. Something returning though. And what about this um, Knight of Wands? We have here the Seven of Cups options, choices. See? Never third party and the options. And this is saying options, choices, confusion. So either you have options, choices, or this person does. And then we have a Four of Pentacles. Look at this person sitting on the pile of money. They don't look too happy. It feels like they were focused on their money. So that might be coming in someone focusing on which queen of pentacles it's like that's what it feels like someone's focusing on their money building their nest egg here all right let's see what else we get for you guys getting together with this person that's mainly in this reading let's see what we get about that there's other people too i think but there's one main person that's very strong here trying to come back in okay we have here wisdom so you both probably gain some wisdom through this money something to do with your money and we have cutting, maybe cutting ties, cutting things, that, and there's uncertainty about it. 
see there's some strong connection to money too here okay so take if it resonates leave if it doesn't it might be for you it might not be for you let's see what we have for the signs leo aries leo again libra there you go Scorpio and Virgo. Okay, so this could be placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. Leo, Aries, Leo, Libra, Scorpio, and Virgo. Now we do the letters for the initials, with initials, first name, last name. If you get both someone's initial for a first and last name and they have a middle name, you know that middle name, you get that initial also all the better. Past, present, and future also your own initials. And we have here R, P, V, A, G, G, <clears throat> S, E, F, F, B. Okay, the letters we have for you today are R, P, V, A, G, G, S, E, F, F, B. Now we do the names. <clears throat> okay, 11 or more names. Let's see. I think I have enough there. Okay, so we have here Don. Darlene, Tammy, T-A-M-I, Tyrell, T-Y-R-A-L, Shaquana, S-H-A-Q-U-A-N-A, -A. Jesse, Elistio, E-L-E-S-I-T-O, Bonnie, Amy, Rika, Rika, R-I-K-A, and then we have June, Avery, Aish, A-S-H-I-S-H, -S and Lori, L-O-R-I. So that's um 14 names. Okay, guys, so those are names. Now remember, <clears throat> these are general readings, not personal readings. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Uh, please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I love to read your comments. If it does not resonate, you can always check out your other placements, your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus sign. Something might resonate with you more in one of your other placements. Give them that missing piece, that missing link. The part of the puddles, puddles, the part of the puddles, <laughs> the part of the puzzle that makes everything click together. All right, guys. <clears throat> So I want to thank you for all your love and support. I really appreciate it. I love you guys so much. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments, your super thanks. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.